so we all know that you know currently with the epidemic of obesity diabetes the ch- incidence of diabetes has been increasing rapidly all around the world whether it is developed countries or even the underdeveloped countries now what is diabetes so diabetes is basically a chronic metabolic disorder in which the central aspect is that there is hyperglycemia or raised blood sugar levels normally in our body the blood sugar is very tightly uh, regulated in between 70 to 140 So when our blood sugar levels rise above this particular level that is when we say that along with the symptoms of diabetes like polyuria polydipsia that is when as per ADA and WHO definitions we say that there is diabetes now why we should be worried about diabetes first of all let me tell you that diabetes can be of a couple of types so it's classified into uh, the basic as per the di- basic pathophysiology whether there is lack of insulin secretion in the body which happens in type 1 diabetes or it could be obesity related insulin resistance in which case it is usually type 2 diabetes okay so this is how we generally classify diabetes apart from this there are certain rarer uh, types of diabetes like monogenic diabetes and but the central aspect is hyperglycemia now why should we worried be worried about diabetes because what hyperglycemia or raised blood sugar levels lead to are secondary changes in various target organs especially the eyes the kidneys heart nerves and this chronic hyperglycemia leads to various macro and microvascular complications like you would have heard about retinopathy or the eyes are affected where the vision of the patient may start getting affected over a period of time kidneys are affected leading to raised creatinine levels eventually some patients go on to require even dialysis apart from this the risk of heart disease risk of stroke peripheral vascular disease and amputation also increases so currently if you see all around the world diabetes is the leading cause of end stage renal disease or chronic kidney failure as we call and the, uh, which requires dialysis over a period of time it is the leading cause of that also it's a very important contributor towards heart disease because of all these complications which are associated with diabetes it's important that diabetes with the a diabetic patient is well monitored his sugars are well kept under control otherwise it increases the risk of morbidity and mortality say that you know it's not entirely wrong but to generalize this statement and say that all types of diabetes can be controlled with just weight loss or it can be reversed with or cured with weight loss as people think as a general perception is wrong because only the, now like i told you there are various reasons for diabetes right so if a patient is obese or overweight then there is an insulin which is secreted in the body but it's not able to act well so it is called as insulin resistance the patients diabetic patients who are who fit this particular phenotype in those particular patients if they lose even 5 to 10% of their body weight you can they can actually think of reversing their diabetes and when reversing i mean that they go into a remission there is always a risk that the moment they start gaining weight again and their diet and exercise lags behind they may again develop diabetes that not all type of diabetes can be reversed on the basis of just weight loss if you fit into the lean diabetic prof- profile or phenotype then these patients have a lack of insulin secretion itself from the pancreas in the body and less of insulin resistance such kind of diabetes is difficult to reverse by just achieving a weight loss in fact uh, these patients are already on the underweight side so if they lose weight they are at risk of malnutrition and it's not going to help to control the diabetes at all so not all diabetes can be controlled by uh, controlled by just weight loss apart from weight loss there are other modalities of treatment so Uh, to best reverse or control your diabetes it is better that the patient speak to a medical professional or doctor and on the recommendation of doctor can undergo medical nutrition and diet and exercise therapy it will help to control diabetes but it may not be sufficient enough to completely reverse it so that's why 90% of the patients of diabetes do go on to require some amount of either insulin or uh, even oral medications to control their diabetes